Is brewing poisons in a church a bad idea? And so we have arrived, friends. The great city of Bruma. My goodness. I'll admit it's not as great as I had hoped. Get out of my sight. Excuse me, sir. <sighs> yes, the houses are of uh, thatched wood, which I think should not be the most impressive thing, especially with the walls of stone Hi outside. There. Hello to you. Edla, Edla Darkheart. If you want to be a marksman, I can train you. If you can breathe, I can teach you. I'll tell you a secret, Edla. I'm not breathing currently. <laughs> I died some days ago. And I've come to Bruma, seeking help for my vampirism. But I've said too much. Do you know anything about that? You're just going to stare at me blankly. That's fine. Farewell. Farewell. And you, yes. Hmm, I'm unsure where to start my search. I suppose the inn is a good place. Hmm, and I should stay out of this man's sight. He seems to be quite angry indeed. Let us just uh, approach the inn, slowly. I think this is the place, yes? Olaf's tap and tack. Well, we shall see. Hmm? I suppose Hello. I have a moment. Oh it, my goodness. Got a good storyteller? Somebody cast a spell on this plate. He's got a real gift for telling a tale. Did you see that, friends? Uh -huh. I, I think the bowl is still stuck somewhere in the ceiling. Maybe there's hope hmm. after all. That's great. Good day. Good day. Do good day! Something? I Hello. need something from Olaf. Hello, my friend. What can I do for you today? Well, I would like a room for the night. I would also like to ask you about some rumors. Angel is all in an uproar. First the chapel attacked. Now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. Hmm. The prophet, indeed. How about that bed? I've got a room, and a cheap one at that. You're looking for one? Yes, please, my friend. Right then. Head up the stairs. It's the first door on your right. Remember, I didn't say it was clean. I said it was cheap. Well, ten gold coins. I suppose uh, that's about what's to be expected, hmm? And hopefully I can stay here just for a little while. Consider this my place of residence. Hmm, needs a key. That is a shame. Son of Skyrim, all these Nords. Well, well. Book of Daedra. Ah... Free books. Guide to Bruma. Let us have a look. Father Talos, protect us all. My name is Alicia Otis, and I'd like to tell you all about Bruma. Bruma is understood to be a Nibbanese county, but in truth, it is more Nord than Nibbanese on account of its close proximity to the Skyrim border, and on account of the terrible cold and discomfort of its location high in the Gerald Mountains. Bruma is always cold and covered with snow, with braziers kept burning every quarter to prevent the citizens from freezing to death. Everything is built in wood since trees are so plentiful in the forest of the Geralds. But even rich and even rich men live here in dark, dirty little wooden huts. It is little wonder that Nords are such drunken heathen savages, for life is impossible in such a climate, and one might be tempted to drink oneself into insensibility or sell one's soul, just to find sanctuary from the bitter cold and the relentless wind. Castle Bruma is also cold and drafty carelessly decorated and dark with soot from the perpetual burning of the braziers. The smell of smoke and cinders is overpowering. The high ceilings are grand, but impossible to heat, and one is never able to get warm. The ancient layers of soot and filth encrusting the stonework makes it difficult to appreciate the exceptional stone carving. Except in its stonework and grand scale, the castle is like the log hut huts of the people. Cold, dark, drafty, and dirty. 
Countess Marina Carvain is a Nibbanese heartlander and dutiful chapel goer and a respected ruler, although she is a cunning and ruthless negotiator and has a reputation for sharp dealing and treachery. Administration of the county is efficient and well-ordered, and a well-trained and aggressive town watch under command of a hard-nosed Nord captain ensures that thieves and beggars are not very troublesome, though Nords are famous for drunkenness and rioting. Access to the castle is through a gate west from the town into a courtyard. The shops, inns, guilds are located in the north, either on the western terrace near the castle gate or below the terrace north of the chapel. The chapel is the central feature of southern Bruma, with houses ranged along the inside of the walls along the east and south. The streets are cramped and barren, since few trees and plants can survive the cold. Well, didn't you say that is why everything is built from wood? Never mind. The town is compact and quickly explored. Bruma's Nibbanese citizens faithfully observe chapel Sundas rituals, but the lower classes are unregenerate followers of the heathen Nord gods and they keep to their own secret superstitions and uncivilized practices. You will not be surprised to find you can purchase good quality weapons and armor here, for Nordsmiths are famous for the quality of their weapons. But you should not expect to be able to purchase any books here, for Nords are ignorant and not fond of reading. The fighter and mages guilds are, short, are poor and short-staffed, for no one wants to be posted to such a gray and cold land. But at least the mages guild is kept good and warm, though I shrink from imagining what infernal engines are employed to produce and preserve that heat. May the Nine bless and save you. Well, I don't think the author of this book was very fond of these lands. Hmm, perhaps we go to bed a little later. My curiosity has been piqued somewhat. Poor Arnora. Hmm. Seems her boyfriend Jerunder has stolen some gold from her and left her penniless. Now he's in Ooh. jail and she's destitute. Some gold, you say? <sighs> Have you heard any word about the other provinces? I hear that the Nords of Skyrim have been warring with the Redoran of Morrowind. The Nords have always been protective of their territory. It's no wonder they get involved in these disputes. Take care. Nords do love a good fight, Farewell. don't they? Farewell! I shall go through this door. And hopefully not find myself in too much trouble. Uh huh. Goodbye. Aha. Biography of Baron Zaya. Can't say I'm too curious about this. Although he could be an interesting man, for all I know. It's you. Hi. Oh. Isn't Sarah <laughs> excellent? I thought he caught me. It's you. No, no, it's not. Mm, and I've left some fingerprints here. Is it possible to scrub them? Yes, oh, well. wonderful. I don't need any uh, evidence of my doings down here. Hmm. Ah, blackberries. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're everywhere now. Brandar has made a little mess. Well, I guess that is some evidence of my doings. Hmm. They should get rid of this bowl. I'm sure I'll find uh, some opportunity to empty my pockets. But I would also like to go to the chapel. Let's see about this book. Akavir means Dragon Land, Tamriel means Dawn's Beauty, Atmor means Elderwood. Only the Redgars know what Yakoda ever meant. Hmm, the Kingdom of Beasts. Interesting. Sounds like superstition to me, hmm? Let's have a look in here. Hmm. Corn, leek. Yes, I think I should make some use of these things. And tell me a bit about Baron Zaya. Perhaps I will be sucked in. A girl child, Baron Zaya, was born to the rulers of the Kingdom of Mornhold in what is now the Imperial Province of Morrowind. She was reared in all the luxury and security befitting a royal dark elven child until she reached five years of age. At that time, His Excellency Tiber Septim I, the first Emperor of Tamriel, obviously, <laughs> demanded that the decadent rulers of Morrowind yield to him and institute Imperial reforms. Oh, I don't want to hear about this. Oh, the Imperials and the Dark Elves having an argument. Well, 
I am completely shocked by that, hmm? Let us take some of these things. Oh, this watermelon is quite heavy. But no matter. We shall find a place for it. Hmm. And I should like to visit the chapel. And we shall brew some potions under the eyes of the gods. Hopefully they will be stronger that way, you understand. Imbued with a bit more power. And yes, the dark is coming. Hmm. Not going to be my favorite. Not for long. Although I do imagine myself sneaking around this town at night. Hmm. As long as I can keep my uh, teeth in my mouth. I don't care to drink anyone's blood. Except for this man. He's not very nice. I shouldn't feel so bad if he were a vampire. Chapel of Talos. Hmm. One of the uh, main gods, as it were. Nobody here? I find this quite curious. I've also heard that uh, vampires can't enter holy places. But your friend Brandar is a uh, living proof of that superstition, hmm? <laughs> Through faith your afflictions are banished. Ah, but my teeth still feel long and jagged. Curious. Quite curious indeed. Well, let us have a sit down and we should brew some potions, yes? Yes. Wonderful. Now, what do we have here? Blood grass, bread loaves. Should like to get rid of this bread loaf. And the watermelon. Restore fatigue. Not so great. Hmm. Detect life. Do we have anything else with detect life on it? No, I should think not. Mostly restore fatigue. I think that is uh, a bit boring, if I'm quite honest. Maybe resist shock. Hmm. That could be quite nice. Hmm? No, no. We'll remove this. Give me something interesting. Shield. I like the sound of shield. And of course, nothing to mix it with. Ah. It seems I have not quite uh, recovered my, my stores of magical ingredients. I think a restore health potion should come in handy. There's a reason I kept these Daedra hearts. And they are quite heavy to haul around this whole time. Harada. Yes, this should make a good potion. Resist fire, damage health. This is the one. Yes. Wonderful poisons. And more. Is brewing poisons in a church a bad idea? Do you think the gods would bless something that is uh, meant to destroy others? Hmm. I'm curious. Damage fatigue? Why not? I've been carrying around quite a few poisons recently. And I think it is a good thing, especially if you get into a, a tight spot. I do wish I could make a potion of invisibility. But for now, I think that will do nicely. I must wonder where is the preacher? Kinareth, Mara, Zenitar. There's Talos wielding the sword. Hmm. Quite a scary man he is. Svendar. He does look a bit uh, like a lion, don't you think? The hair around his face. I think he is a cat. Oh, Debella. She's quite a lovely, lovely lady. RK. Hmm. Akatosh. And Julianus. Well, thank you for letting me brew some poisons in your house, you guys. I do appreciate that a lot. 
Maybe I'll just check out the underbelly. See if perhaps the priest is down here. Must I pick a door in the church? Oh my. They're not going to like this. But alas! Curious kitties must do what curious kitties must do. I don't think that there is a way for me to harm. Ah, uh, perhaps I do have the silver arrows equipped. Let us give it a try, hmm? More bone meal? Don't mind if I do. Show me... the money. Quite scary, ghosts. No need to be so creepy. Oh my. They're on to me Stay now. Away. Stay away. Oh, hello there. Uh, you caught me in the middle of something. If you could just give me a moment. Should be right with you. Okay. How can I get these arrows back? They have nothing to stick into them. Ah. I'm going to need them. Stay away. This is not a good situation. I should recharge some of my magical implements. Perhaps at the Mage's Guild. Hmm. Could you could you not? Is that a possibility? Please? Well, we are whittling him down, I suppose. Look out. Ah. Come on. One more arrow. Fly through. And so it did. But there are also more ghosts to deal with down here. Ah. Take the ectoplasm. Yes. Here are all of my arrows. Wonderful. I do need these. Pardon, pardon. So while they did not stick into the ghosts, as I suspected, they do just fall onto the floor. I was worried that uh, passing through the ghost would have some sort of detrimental effect to the arrows. And I'll have to keep on recycling. Recycling my silver arrows. Ah, I do wish I had something else. But this is what we have now. And I recovered almost all of them. I think with a bit more searching I could find the rest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, leave me alone now. Could I be uh, a little sneaky? Oh, pardon me. Pardon me! <laughs> I did not mean to slip a hand into your pocket. Or did I? <laughs> no, I didn't. Seriously. <laughs> That's quite unacceptable. And where's this man going? Oh, pardon me, sir. Hello? I'm Sirak, Bruma's Chapel Healer. Hello to you. Um... Could I ask you something about... First, first, promise me you're not going to freak out, okay? Because I've had a few people freak out and it's it's not very nice. But I'm a vampire. I've stopped breathing, my teeth are long, I thirst for blood, and I'm in desperate need of a cure, my good friend. Cure? You mean besides death? Such a thing is beyond mm. our control. The body is so warped by vampirism. Few would be able to revert its effects. Even fewer would care to try. The Guild of Mages might know more. Speak with Reminus Polis. He may be able to guide you. Thank you so much, my friend. I was about to head to the Mages Guild regardless. Might I also ask you about uh, Jurandir? I've heard some talk of gold. He might have stored it somewhere, and maybe Brandar could uh, help to recover it, yes. Mm. Arnora and Jorunder were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. 
Ah. He was going to skip town on Arnora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all, poor thing. Well, I should like to visit Goodbye. her, I suppose. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Oh, that is the woman that I wanted to talk to. Could I just uh, sneak a little peek in here as well? Wonderful. I'm so glad we could reason this out. Hello, you two. Uh, the door was unlocked. Maybe somebody forgot, huh? The Nine welcome you to Bruma. I'm Isa Raymond, Priestess of Talus. Lovely to meet you, Priestess. Might you uh, have some spells Only that you could teach me? For sale here. What can I interest mm. you in? Interesting, huh? I would like to uh, heal major wounds. Yes. Heal superior wounds. My goodness. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think my magic pool would allow this. That is a shame. I shall practice, and uh, I shall be back. Thank you so much. Goodbye. You too. And uh, how about you, friends? Praise friend? Akatosh. Praise the Nine. I'm Arentus Falvius, Primate of Talos, High Priest of Bruma Chapel. Primate? Like a monkey? Brandar does not associate with monkey. Goodbye. I hope not, monkey man. I could go down into the uh, the Undercroft and battle with the ghosts some more, but I don't think that is the right answer. We must be off to the Mage's Guild, friends, and see if I can uh, get rid of my thirst for blood. <laughs> Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.